at a turbulent time for humanity. By the governments of Costa Rica, Denmark, Brazil at the World Summit. It's a pivotal moment in our common atrocities is at its highest level. I'm going to go first of all to a, a, another old friend, His Excellency Mr. Zohra Imnat Sakyan. Thank you very much, dear Simon, uh, distinguished colleagues, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, warm greetings from Yerevan, from Armenia, and uh, I'd want to start with uh, expressing my and our deep appreciation to the co-hosts, Denmark, Costa Rica, and Qatar, for uh, this initiative of gathering the 12th Ministerial, though virtually. And uh, particular appreciation and gratitude to an old friend, good friend, and a relentless activist in uh, promoting the prevention agenda globally, uh, Dr. Simon Adams. Uh, uh, thank you so much. 15 years ago, we, all together, the UN member states, endorsed the responsibility to protect as a firm political commitment to protect populations from massive and atrocious crimes, including the crime of genocide. The responsibility to protect is both a political and a moral commitment. Together with the legal obligations deriving from the Convention of the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, it is a significant tool of prevention. As a member of the United Nations Human Rights Council, Armenia enlisted among its priorities the contribution to global efforts to prevent genocide and strengthening the United Nations Office on Genocide Prevention and the responsibility to protect. Sustained and effective functioning of the office remains a compelling priority today. In 2015, Armenia led the global efforts to designate 9th December as the International Day of Commemoration and Dignity of the Victims of the Crime of Genocide and the Prevention of this Crime. By this, we have provided together collectively an additional platform to uh, develop and uh, invest in our collective efforts for the prevention agenda. We have been consistently outlining the importance of strengthening capacities at both national, regional and international levels to detect and act on warning signs which may lead to massive crimes and the necessity to prevent genocide and other mass atrocities at early stages. All genocides could have been prevented, whether it is the Armenian genocide, the Jewish Holocaust, the Rwandan genocide or other atrocity crimes. Dissemination of hatred, intolerance, radicalism, war propaganda, incitement to and actual discrimination against racial, national, ethnic, religious and all other minorities, as well as the targeted attacks against civilians, continue to shape present realities in different parts of the world. The international community, the United Nations and its member states are still ill-prepared to respond in a timely and decisive manner to these signals of trouble. It is a matter of serious concern that the international community may afford inaction to the language of threats, wherein denial and justification of past genocides, laced with aggressive and abusive vocabulary of certain political leaders about lessons that victims across generations should not forget is most disturbing. Future perpetrators interpret silence to such barbaric disregard of the norms of a civilized world as a license to kill. Under no circumstances, sovereignty can be a safe haven for perpetrating gross and grave human rights violations against those who are peacefully exercising their human rights, including the right of self-determination. No nation can be afforded the right to kill behind the thick curtain of sovereignty. The responsibility to protect is, a critical, is critical in this regard, as it reminds that sovereignty is not a license for impunity, but a responsibility. Sovereignty should be exactly the primary and most functional level for the effective implementation of the responsibility to protect. International cooperation to strengthen national capacities to protect remain in as important as ever. Respect for human rights is an integral part of a democratic society. It is important to implement human rights obligations and commitments and to cooperate closely with the United Nations human rights mechanisms. In this context, it is also important to stress
the role of the civil society in advocacy, early warning, training and education. And once again, I want to emphasize the important role that the Global Centre has been playing, uh, continuously playing in this regard. Such priorities were underlined in the resolution on the prevention of genocide presented by Armenia and unanimously adopted by the Human Rights Council in June 2020. Since 2015, Armenia has been regularly, regularly hosting global forums against the crime of genocide, gathering prominent scholars and practitioners of genocide prevention from across the globe. This is our unwavering commitment and contribution to building a global community against the crime of genocide and other mass atrocities. The upcoming fourth global forum will be dedicated to the theme of women and girls challenging the victim paradigm and will address the root causes and consequences of the genocide of violence against women and girls. The conference will pay attention to the necessity of preventing sexual and gender-based violence and prosecuting offenders. Dear friends, the prevention of mass atrocity crimes is a responsibility that falls to all of us. And we will continue our efforts to actively contribute to advancing the global prevention agenda. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for those um, very poignant and also very generous uh, comments.